Hello and welcome to Infinity. One of the controls that has confused me for a long time was the clarity, because it's sold as a kind of sharpening tool, but not quite. So let's have a look at it. Let's, let's see what it does. So we go down to the live filters here, and there it is, in with the other sharpening tools. So let's bring it up here, and let's try turning it right up to see if we can see something happening. Well, what we see already, let's turn it, we can turn it on and off up here. So off, on, off, on. So what we see there is this, the noise, and that's something that immediately you need to watch out for. If you've got a noisy picture, turning up clarity will make the noise noisier. And, but however, if you've got something that's cloud, cloudy like this, see off and on, it makes the clouds more intense. So you can use it, for example, to intensify a sky. Um, this is right up. Going down the other way, kind of the opposite effect. So the noise there is a bit more faded, so you could use it to reduce noise uh, or to tone down a sky. Let's have a look at the sharpening effect. Let's go into the middle here. And does this sharpen this line here? Because we expect this blurring at the edge to decrease in some way. Not really, does it? And in fact, if you look at this one here, if we turn this one up, look what's happening. This seems to almost getting bigger. Let's go into this to have a look at it at the pixel level. So here are pixels. Let's go right to a couple of pixels there. Two pixels. Turn this up. And what's happening is the difference between the two, the contrast between the two, is increasing. See, so the border between them is a lot clearer. So it's doing a, um, a what's what may be called a micro contrast adjustment or, or tone contrast uh, at that level. So, and, and the other way, again, look, it's, they've both gone down, both got lighter and have both almost disappeared. So turning up seems to darken and increase contrast right at that local level. So let's have a look at it on a real picture. Here we go. Let's put clarity here. Turn this up. And what do we notice? Right up. Well, look, the face here is immediately gone very grimy and grungy. And in fact, when it first came out, that was one of the things it used to be useful for creating grime pictures. But usually with faces, you don't want to do that. But that immediately suggests if we turn it down the other way, it softens it. In fact, let's go in close and have a look. So we look at this here. If I turn that up, that's not good, is it? But if I turn it down, then it's softened. And in fact, you can soften it further. If I control, control J, it wants twice again so you can soften things significantly like that and then you could turn them off and paint them back in so you'd hit control i on those and then paint back in with black which would then let you selectively apply it but look let's have a look elsewhere let's go up here let's just come out a bit here so we've got a bit of sky we've got the um Bit of background and we've got some eye and, and an edge here which like this to be a bit sharper does that give it a sharpening effect let's try it so so from the middle turn it up and that local contrast does seem to make that effect it does sort of brighten this up a bit though it's at individual pixels notice here the noise here has suddenly increased Go back to the middle, see that noise decreases and turn that right down and that goes off. And likewise, again, you can hit this and hit Control J several times. And you'll multiply the effect um, when it gets to it. Oh, hang on a minute, we need to turn this one up and go to this one. And we'll turn this one up and even go to this one. So we've got a super extreme effect. There we go. Three of them turned up. And then control zero to look at that and uh, yes of course the skin is terrible but you've got some interesting effects out here if you don't like it, you can turn them off one at a time maybe that's a bit too much see the sky's gone a bit too strange there 
you wouldn't want this on the face but you can paint it in on the things like the hair look at the hair here and take the one off and then the other off so you have enhanced particularly where you've got individual hairs because it's con contrasting it against the background that you could be aware of this kind of effect so you might want to denoise before you start okay there you go there is the basics of the clarity slider use it with care watch out for nasty effects but there are areas where it can be a handy thing to do and you can duplicate it to enhance the effect thank you very much for watching